Federal Reserve is expected to increase interest rates today. Yeah, and joining us now is Ehud Ron. Ehud Ron, an economist with the University of Texas. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for Good waking morning. up early. You've got an in-depth look at how this rate hike, yet another one, can impact us. We've been experiencing these hikes for months now. What will another one mean for the everyday person? So there are a couple of things it'll mean. For those of us who are savers, it'll mean a little bit more income. For those of us who are borrowers, be it mortgages, car loans, it's going to be an increase in the borrowing rate. 15-year mortgages are already well north of 4 and 30-year mortgages well north of 5%, so that'll continue to go up. Those are the immediate short-term ramifications. Longer term, regrettably, the likelihood of a recession is fairly substantial, which will mean a scaling back in economic activity throughout the country. And uh, Mr. Ron, do we have any idea of what this could mean on uh, prices for gas and everyday yes. items? Yes, so basically the news for your viewing area and the rest of us in Texas is basically this. Even when the recession hits, I expect oil prices to come down. And so basically what happens during recessions is the demand for energy declines. And in that case, it'll bring down prices. Regrettably, for those of us who are working on the production side of the oil industry, it'll mean less income. And so that's what I'm seeing if and when the recession hit because of this increase of these increases in interest rates. And what needs to happen for inflation to go down? Basically, we need to reduce economic activity. So what the Fed is trying to do by increasing interest rate is reduce the demand for loans for businesses, individuals and so forth. That will begin to reduce economic activity as less people borrow and fewer investment projects are undertaken. And so what they want to do is engineer a soft landing where we sort of glide to a lower inflation. Regrettably, since we start a little bit late in this particular cycle of increasing interest rates, the likelihood of a hard landing, i.e. a recession, is regrettably greater. All right, Mr. Ron, thank you so much for your time this morning and giving us a little more insight on how this could impact us.